welcome back. Happy Monday. So I hope you guys liked last week's Halloween videos. If you guys are new here or if you didn't watch last week's videos, last week was the beginning of my Halloween recipe videos. Um, if you haven't watched them, what am I trying to say? I don't know. Link to the playlist is in my cards right here if you want to catch up. Um, but today we're making some blood splatter lollipops. So this recipe is inspired by a recipe in my cookbook. If you didn't know, I have a cookbook. Um, this whole month isn't going to be like homoing my cookbook. Um, but so far it seems like it is. Okay, so, so in my cookbook, which is called Unicorn Food, which is available on Amazon, link is in my channel art of this channel if you want to buy it. I would love you if you bought it. Um, but I made some rainbow lollipops, and they're like little swirly lollipops, and they're so pretty. And they're actually really easy to make, so I thought that I would make some that just look like little blood splatters. So if you're having a Halloween party and you want something cute, but also kind of clean and simple, this is a really cool recipe. And it's also something that like you could package and like give to people when they're leaving. If your kids are having a birthday or birthday party, or birthday, if you're having a birthday party and it's Halloween theme, that works. Or if you're doing like a Dexter theme party, that would be really cool. Uh, but yeah, they're so easy to make. All you need is really like, well, I'm gonna show you what you need. I don't know. Why I don't know. It's late at night when I'm filming this intro, I'm sorry. But anyway, yeah, let's get started. All right, so first you want to place a pot over medium heat and add some granulated sugar, water, and light corn syrup. Stir with a rubber spatula until everything is melted and combined. Then increase the heat to medium high and attach a candy thermometer to the pot. Heat until the sugar reaches 310 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove the pot from the heat and stir until it stops bubbling. Then add some flavoring if you like, and mix it until it's fully combined. And if you guys would like some flavoring, um, I will have a couple flavors linked down below, um, some Amazon links. My favorite brand are Loran oils. Um, I use those if I'm ever flavoring my candy because their stuff is so good. So um, highly recommended and it's good quality. <laughs> uh, and also, if you're looking for some natural flavors, they have like natural flavoring. Um, versus like artificial flavorings. So if you, I remember somebody said years ago that they're allergic to artificial flavors. So if you are, or if you want something more natural, they have those options too. So handy, oh my gosh. Then you wanna generously spray a lollipop mold with some cooking spray. And oh my God, before we continue, so this step is so important. You wouldn't think that candy would stick to plastic, but if you don't spray it with cooking spray, it will stick. You won't be able to get it out, it will break, everything will be ruined, all your hard work will be gone. Just do it. Like, it's so important. Believe me. <laughs> then working with one mold at a time, pour some candy into the mold, then dip a toothpick into some red food coloring and swirl it into the hot candy, creating a swirl. Insert a lollipop stick, then repeat with the remaining hot candy, returning the pot to the heat if you need to, if the candy starts to thicken and cool. So the reason why we're doing it one at a time is just because candy, our hard candy can, it cools relatively quickly, um, and we need to be in a very like liquid state in order to get a nice little swirly pattern, so that's why we're doing that, but yeah, just pop it back on the stove and like heat it up, like the, the big pot, if it starts to thicken, um, but yeah, if you just do that, it's not too hard, don't worry. And allow the lollipops to cool at room temperature until they're fully hardened for about one hour, and unmold, and you are, and just unmold, and you are done! I got this a boyfriend. We can... We can blame him for the noise. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I love you. I'm sorry. Okay. Um. Anyway, thank you. Guys. Oh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm flustered because he texted me. I'm that kind of girlfriend. Um. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the second week of my Halloween videos. I'm so excited to show you guys what else is coming this week. And actually, if you are subscribed, you already know what is coming this week because every Sunday now, um, I post in your subscription feed like. The videos that are coming that week um, and you can vote on like which ones are your favorites and like which ones you're looking forward to the most so if you want to see it um, subscribe and then check your subscription tab and it will be in there if you scroll back a little bit because I posted it yesterday um, but yeah anyways I love you guys so much and I will see you guys tomorrow for an all new video bye